Hi, my name's Angela Devi, and today I'm cooking from Spice for Life, my new cookbook, and we'll be cooking fine green beans with mango and tomatoes. Okay, for this dish we're going to need some fine green beans that we've blanched in hot water for 30 seconds. We've got a fresh mango that we've chopped up into bite-sized pieces, about six tomatoes that have been cut into half, some fresh green chilies, some garlic and ginger that's been minced, some salt, we've got some tomato paste, coconut milk, coriander, and of course the all-important spice dubber. Right, to start with, we're going to, I've warmed up this pan here, and I'm just going to add in about um, two tablespoons of oil. And this is just vegetable oil. You can actually use coconut oil as well if you want to. I'm just going to put that to one side, just warm it through a little bit, just a little bit, you don't want to get it too hot because you don't want to burn your spices. And then into there I'm going to drop in a level teaspoon of cumin, a level teaspoon of mustard seeds, a level teaspoon of uh, fennel, a heap teaspoon of fresh, uh, sorry, dry fenugreek leaves, a little bit, quarter teaspoon of turmeric, uh, about a level teaspoon of chilli flakes or to your taste and then just a quarter of a teaspoon of um, nigella seeds. Okay, I'm going to give that a nice stir just to warm them through. You're only actually just teasing the um, flavour out of these and you don't want to uh, cook these for too long at all. Okay, and then into that I'm going to drop in our garlic and our ginger give that a stir. Okay, I'm going to drop in a little bit of salt. I'm going to take some of our tomato paste, about a heap teaspoon, in it goes. Also, I'm going to pierce probably two chilies. You can actually just use one. Um, I like it nice and warm. And again, we pierce the chilies just so we can control the temperature in our food. Obviously, if you've you know, minced your chilies or chopped them up, you can't actually do that. Okay, so that's, or oh, I mean the smells, it's just absolutely wonderful. Okay, and then quickly add in two um, heap teaspoons of um, coconut milk. Stir that in. And just take a little bit. Can you see that? Look how delicious that looks already. I totally love this dish. It's so quick and easy. One you can do when you come home from work and you're really tired and then simply just put some chicken or some um, kind of fish with it. Now in goes our fine green beans. This is going to be slightly al dente this dish, you're not going to cook this for very long. The rule is, if you can eat anything raw, you really don't want it in the pan for too long at all. You're simply going to just get those, um, these green beans that I've just put into this pan covered in all those spices. And you know, vegetables, they soak up everything really, really quickly, particularly if you blanch your vegetables first. Now you can see, look, already those vegetables have started to soak up all those beautiful ingredients. And then we're simply going to go in with our tomatoes, our chopped tomatoes. I can see you're totally going to love this dish because it is so quick, but it is so delicious. Okay, stir that in. And then finally, our uh, delicious chopped mangoes, in they go too. And would you believe we are almost finished? I'm going to stir that in as well. As I said, this is going to be left all really al dente. You really don't want to cook this for very long. And there you go, my beautiful warm salad, mango, tomato and green beans. It's in the book. You can actually download the recipe off my website, but you can actually buy Spice for Life, 101 unique recipes.